attacks on police formation and its operatives in the southeast of Nigeria has continued unabated, with the latest killing of two officers at Ubakala police station in Umahia South local government area of Abia State by yet to be identified gunmen. It was gathered that unknown gunmen attacked the Ubakala police station early Monday morning in Umahia South area of the state. The bandits raised the main building of the police station. Five patrol vans, six exhibit vehicles, motorcycles and tricycles and as well cutted away with two rifles belonging to the slain policemen. The latest onslaught by the gunmen on the security formation was coming barely three days after some hoodlums had set ablaze a police station at Ubani Township Markets in Umahia North local government of Abia State. The hoodlums had equally unleashed similar nefarious attack and burnt the office of the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency in Amaukbu in Ohafia local government area last Tuesday. Two days earlier, gunmen raised the Independent National Electoral Commission's office in Ohafia. Unrelenting in their attack on the police stations and government facilities, the, gun, the unknown hoodlums numbering about 100 attacked Bende police station in Abia, leaving two operatives with gunshot wounds. Daily Post gathered that the hoodlums set the station on fire about 11 p.m. on 12th May 2021. The police command in Abia State had confirmed the attacks by the hoodlums. The spokesman of the state command, S.P. Godfrey Ogbuna, had said two officers were shot in the legs by the attackers. Ogbuna said the attackers also burnt down the generator house and a multi purpose building belonging to Bende local government. He said the hoodlums later released criminal suspects who were detained at the station. They also burnt two vehicles including the divisional police officers Highlander Jeep and three motorcycles parked at the station, saying we do not know yet how they all gathered to execute the attack at the station. Maybe they parked their vehicles away from their target and walked through footpaths to the place, he said. Also recall that at the earlier stage of the criminal attacks in Abia State, unknown individuals reportedly raced down a police station in Uzaukuli, Bende local government area. It was gathered that the incident occurred in the early hours of May 3, 2021, when the assailants invaded the station disclosing some of the approaches in nipping in the board the worsening attacks on security facilities and government critical infrastructures by the assailants in abia the state police command retreated its avowed commitments and determination to make abia an unsafe haven for criminal elements police public relations officers in the state S.P. Geoffrey Ogbona said the command has embarked on full investigation into the recent gunmen attacks in different parts of the state. The command also disclosed its synergy with sister security agencies to curb every nook, nooks and crannies of the states of hoodlums, kidnappers and bandits. Meanwhile, speaking on the part of the government's proactive measures in dealing with the criminal monsters threatening the peace of Abia populace, during one of his official engagements, Governor Keze Ikbazu vowed that his administration shall use every lawful means to protect and safeguard every inch of the territory of Abia State from criminals and marauders. He described Abia State as a safe haven for investors and business operatives. The Abia governor further revealed that the improved security situation in the state coupled with the access rules created by its administration had increased businesses while government has also provided enabling environments for business to thrive. However, despite Governor's Iquazo's statement rating Abia as safe even for its citizen and business investors coupled with its administration's proactive steps in quelling attacks on security formations by the hoodlums, 
the yet to be identified individuals have continually continuously and steadily launched attacks on police stations and in extension government infrastructures including the branch offices of the independent national electoral commission INEC in the state following the unabated criminal attacks on security agencies and their operatives by the unknown assailants in some parts of abia blames and counter blames over who is responsible for the current activities of the unknown gunmen in the state have emerged. Observers are of, of different opinions. While some have accused the opposition elements of being behind the several attacks on security formations and government facilities by the unknown gunmen as part of their grand plots to sabotage the gains of progress already achieved by the Abia governor in the security of lives and property. Others have observed that the indigenous people, uh, the other as I have observed that group in the southeast zone, the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, and its security office, Eastern Security Network, are behind the current killings of security personnel and the burning down of local government area division offices of INEC and NDLA. They equally posted that members of the indigenous people of Biafra were allegedly carrying out the heinous attacks on security formations to mop up the police arms and ammunition and use the armories to further fortify personnel, personnel of ESN to sustain their attacks in various states of the southeast geopolitical zone. However, investigation conducted by Daily Post on Wednesday following the attacks on several occasions across Abia State gathered that the attacks on security formations and government facilities resulted from the alleged, alleged brutality of the Nigeria police against pro Biafra agitators during and after the military invasion in the, of the Umahia residence of the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Kano, Namde Kano. Most of the Biafra agitators, mostly in Abba Aziz of Abia, recalled their earlier vow to make Southeast Zone ungovernable for the five governors in the region who they believed were aiding and abetting Nigeria security forces in the continuous killing of Biafra, pro Biafra agitators. The investigation revealed that the continuous detention of most Biafra faithful and refusal of the government at all levels to unconditionally release IPOP members arrested during its military invasion in Afaroku Umahia and remanded in prisons across southeast and other parts of the regions without diligence and fair trials, which in turn infringed their rights to freedom of association or rights to seek self-determination as provided by conventional laws were part of the major factors that led to the current insecurity situation in the state, making the nation's security operatives and their formations as targets and victims. Daily Post investigation further revealed that the current upsurge of attacks on government's critical infrastructures in Abia and other states of Southeast was compounded by the killing of prominent ESN commander Ikonso Don by the soldiers invited by the government. The pro Biafra groups and agitators have vowed not to cease fire to justice prevails on the murder of the ESN commander and the extrajudicial killings of hundreds of Biafra agitators. Meanwhile, in the course of the investigation on Wednesday, normalcy has returned to the affected places as different combined teams of security agents were stationed in strategic areas to forestall further attacks on the state by the unknown gunmen. But worried by the worsening attacks in the state, Governor Okeze Ipazu had on Monday met with members of, the, of his cabinet in Aba to deliberate on additional measures needed to ensure the protection of lives and property in the state. Briefing newsmen after the meeting, which was attended by the Deputy Governor, Right Honorable Ude Oko Chuku, and other members of the state executive council, the commissioner for information, Chief John Okii Kalo, stated that the state government was set to organize a security roundtable involving key stakeholders in the 
states will review the prevailing situation and recommended measures to further improve security in the state. According to him, the roundtable, which is expected to last for 36 hours, we hold in Huma here, the state capital, and is expected to bring together seven and retired security officers of Abia origin, chairman of local government areas and traditional rulers with a view to recommending lasting solutions to the challenges of insecurity affecting the states and in particular and the nation in general. As the attacks on security formations continue on abated, Abia citizens and residents are looking up to the state government under Dr. Okeze Ikwazo to redouble its efforts and ensure decisive steps are taken to end the series of attacks occurring in some parts of the state almost on daily basis.